Okay. Okay, my Cosbrook brethren. Okay, y'all. Uh, let me break this real quick. Because I don't want to stand here all day either discussing this filth, this trash. Y'all should know who I'm talking about just from the title alone. This person trying to... <laughs> Yo, what is it about with these new age sensitive snowflake desperate for the most attention possible trying to get more like trying to get the most attention they can get it's like just from anything just from anything like what is the issue with that can y'all tell me like i'll <laughs> be a sarcastic but like can y'all okay like really can y'all tell me what's the deal you right there with that like what is it like what is what's going on with that that's like a trend now like goodness gracious and of course it's a trend to talk shit and <laughs> rag on a legend yeah i said legend legend's name as such as chris benoit of course that's a hot topic always and when it comes to when it comes to the wrestling i'll say yeah when it comes in the wrestling social social place i hate saying community especially like you know in popular pop culture is like uh wrestling or hip-hop because you have some people who's not even so-called fans or you know admirers of one's work because they put bias and in the situation here they want to use a certain topic they want to use something that's been so controversial and so hot for so long and they want to capitalize off it all right don't worry i'm, I'm gonna show y'all the tweet too yeah all right get y'all off that face for a little while this is like completely laughable yes yeah, so I want to I want y'all to look at it too all right but let me read it this is gonna be the coldest take I ever tweet on this app I already know that y'all gonna be mad I don't think Benoit of course they're gonna be mad because also you have people that admire Benoit and what he's done. And of course they're, they're going to be mad because you're mentioning his name. We all know this. Of what he did. And you know his name being affected after the fact. I don't think Benoit could have 100% hang with most of the present day best wrestlers. He would not <laughs> He would not be able to remember matches. Also, may he burn in hell. Amen. Hang with most present day wrestlers. <laughs> Do I even need to name some of the wrestlers too that were inspired and actually trained by you know wrestlers like Shawn Michaels, in which you have Daniel Bryan and Kurt Angle? Like, are you? S <laughs> I can't get over that. I just thought it was going to be a statement where she was talking just smack about Benoit. But she said, she says, this is how you know she chasing what she chasing. Because she she also said, baby, he burned in hell. Of course, to alter the fact, she got to add that in so after she's, so she knows she's getting with her, her most five minutes of fame. But you really, you actually typed this in existence and left this up. That Benoit can't hang. <sighs> That's like saying Triple H couldn't hang. That's like saying Shawn Michaels or Kurt Angle. Like, are you serious? You know what? Most of the wrestlers exist today. Why Sasha Banks exists? Why do they even have a name? <laughs> I can't with this, y'all. Oh my gosh, this just this remedial just burnt out. <laughs> just <laughs> this is critical down syndrome, y'all. Oh wow, goodness gracious! Like yeah, like I said, this clear tweet is a prime example of chasing your five minutes of fame, and. If after she proceeds after the fact that she he couldn't hang with most day wrestlers like this is what disgusts me too man the hypocrisy 
the, yeah, the hypocrisy of such individuals, especially like, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, what the condemning of R. Kelly is, what he is, we all know that for years he's been a pedophile. There's, even, even though that there's not a proof, there's not hard, clear evidence or proof that he's a pedophile, you can, actually it is, but you can actually search up his name, you can search up the wedding gift, uh, the wedding certificate of when he married, you know, 14-year-old or 15-year-old Aaliyah. And you can, that's out there. So, I was like, it's like, you have still public figures, like, I'm pretty sure, damn sure, that even, even before, after the fact, he was condemned. And even after, the first time he was, after being condemned, you still have people out here after his sentencing, is still going to listen to his music. Even after he after he goes away, people are still going to listen to his music. Just like, of course, you have, what's some other people that's so controversial? Like, there's many other people that have, like I said, there's no one that's innocent. I like the fact of how it's such wrestling taboo of when you even mention Benoit's name. And I had... I I have even fought, this is like dating back to uh like I I can say twenty eighteen and that's where I found out everything about Benoit and everything like that. Like I uh I don't think I mentioned before but you know, Benoit wasn't one of my favorite wrestlers. He hasn't never been one of my favorite wrestlers, but I do note the fact just like who else well, that's it. There's, 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 just like there's like there's many other wrestlers who I don't find who's not one of my favorites. That's just because you don't have to find them or whatever they done. Like <laughs> I don't mean you have to. Like I said I'm I'm one I'm 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 one of notes to actually you ha you can absolutely because there's a lot of hypocritical motherfuckers that like to because yeah it's of course bias and like to prove the fact when it comes to this person just because they don't like them. They just make light of their of what they've done, of their mistakes. But when it comes to a person that they hold dear or look up to, oh he, oh gosh, she can do no wrong. <laughs> He's the best of the best. You know, it's disrespect. Never disrespect this person. Like I said the, the hypocrisy is such a fallacy, man. Such a fallacy. This is wonderful. Like I said I, I don't like I didn't like the dude. And I just, he wasn't one of my favorites, but he still, I still hold him in a particular light when talking about Chris Benoit. Because he was one of, he still, I mean, he still had great, he you know, he had great psychology. He had a uh, wonderful ring presence, man. He was, yeah, he was, he was great in the ring. He was kind of good on the mic. I mean, yeah, like Chris Benoit had things about him that was spectacular. Uh, and I st and you can't forget that you can't erase that in history, even though WWE's literally erased his name in WWE history. But you it won't be able to forget that's in life. So it all it all like I said, knowing what I know about, like I said about like you know, kind of numerous times already, knowing what I know about humanity, like it's always so funny about when you have a certain person. <laughs> say what who they say, especially a person of that's like uh that's could that's known already too, and and just in general of how people like to, you know, misinterpret it, and how they like to condemn this you know condemn somebody who's done such a you know horrific yeah and it's a horrific indeed it is, but they like to just out of the way just condemn them, yeah, especially on Twitter because that's the place you know that's you can go viral and you get more likes, more tweets, and all that and everything. That's because that's what this is all about. And that's it's, and it's just so hilarious. It's so hilarious. So fucking hilarious. Because <laughs> that's exactly what she's going after, and it's just it makes no sense. No sense. But. Yeah, I'm finished. I'm finished giving this. I'm, I'm, I'm finished giving this deformed creature much as attention that they can get. And like I say it's always baffling to, to know that people like to condemn people who they don't like, especially like you know people that's a part of history that they don't like. But when it comes to person people who they look up to, you know, all hope is in the air. And of course, they can't do no wrong. <laughs> Like I said, you can do, you can say what you want to, but Chris Benoit is a part of wrestling history, and it's gonna stay that way forever, even if the WWE has did what they did 
to his name following the, the following the date that happened in tragedy. So yeah, you can say what you want to say. You know, Chris Benoit is etched in history. Just like R. Kelly is etched in history and people are still listening to his music right now, after he's been sentenced. After he's been condemned and when it first happened. It's like many other artists before them have been, you know, cadet, just like, you know, had, that have been in controversy about what have they done, whether it's been in like crucial crime, whatever category of the fact, or, you know, pedophilia or anything like that. Like I said, so, so much hypocrisy, but people, when it comes to people who they don't, or, you know, celebrity, or, you know, other like legends in their own, in their own craft, I would like to uh, point out, but when it comes to, just because they don't like that person might be, or jealousy, or because they want to go viral. But when it comes to, obviously, the person that they look up to, <laughs> this, this, they can't do no wrong in their eyes, of course. Just, it's clear club bias. And it's just that statement about, oh my gosh, I can't even read, I can't even look at it. <sighs> just, oh my gosh. Just even that, didn't Kurt Angle at WrestleMania, or like a few years ago, did what he did. He could still run. And he was. <coughs> oh damn! Sorry. And he was still competing. Like, are you serious? And in Triple H at the end of his career, he's faced Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. <laughs> are you serious right now, Daniel Bryan? Goodness gracious! Oh my gosh! <coughs> but I'm gonna get out of here, y'all. Laugh, have a ball at this, you know, laugh at this tweet. Or right, go to her tweet and laugh at it. Just have yourselves a laugh. <laughs> just, uh, you know, look at this. Oh, wow, it's complete comedy. Because there seriously is. <sighs>